Okay guys so this is week 9 graded assignment so let's start with the first question so the first question says match the following in column a with corresponding signed area between its graph and the interval 1 minus 1 to 1 on the x axis in column b and the images of their graph and highlighted region corresponding to the area computed in column c okay so we have to match these and we have three things function area under the curve from minus 1 to 1 and the graph the graph with the area shaded that we have calculated okay so we can directly find it out so the first function is fx equals to x so let's calculate this so we are given fx equals to x which is basically y equals to x this is a straight line so while plotting let's plot this so let me draw the x and y axis so the graph will look like this this is basically y equals to x don't mind this it is passing through through 0 comma 0 okay and now we have to find the area from minus 1 to 1 so let's say this is minus 1 and uh, this is 1 so basically we have to find out this area and actually this area is pretty simple we don't even need to integrate the function we can directly find out the area of the triangle and then we can uh, double it so as you know this is y equals to x so the value here this will also be 1 this point will be 1 comma 1 which, Im which implies that the height of the triangle is 1 and the length of the base is also 1 so the area comes out to be half into 1 into 1 which is basically half and that area is for only this one triangle so the total area comes out to be 1 okay so for the function f x is equals to x the graph is this as you see above and the area comes out to be 1 okay so let's just check it out so this is first one then we have one so this is c and the graph is three so firstly we get one c three this is true okay now let's move to the second one in second we are given fx equals to mod x so let's just plot this one okay let me just uh, show this to you how you can do this directly through graphs so basically what we will do let me first draw the x and y axis so these are the x and y axis now first we, what we will do is we will draw fx equals to x okay so as we drew earlier this is fx equals to x now what addition has been done we have taken mod of x so what will happen is the part which is in the negative side of x that is in this region this part will change to its mirror image along x axis that is we will have it like this it's actually the mirror image so this one was before and this doesn't remain our actual graph is the solid one not the dotted one okay and now we have to find the area between minus one and plus one so minus one and plus one and with this i got to know one mistake that we did here actually here this area was negative and this was positive so they won't add up so the area will be zero here area will be zero here and we won't have uh, no three was correct uh, c was wrong so we will have 0 b as the answer here so let me make a correction this will be b okay and here we will have 2 and now since the area becomes 1 with the same process as we did earlier because the base and the perpendicular both are 1 so the area of the triangle is half and two triangles combined will make the area 1 so 2 c and let's check out which graph matches ours so you can clearly see the first graph matches okay so 
uh, this comes out to be 2c1 and now since we have matched 2 for third you can directly figure out that it is going to be 3a and uh, what is left 3a2 but still let me show you the method so for the let me erase this so for the third one fx equals to x square you know for x square the graph is parabolic so it will come like this as it is visible in this graph second graph right and we have to find the area from minus 1 to 1 that is shaded and how do you find the area here you will have to use integration from minus 1 to actually you can do this in two ways you can either integrate from minus 1 to 1 the function x square dx or you can integrate 0 to 1 2 times x square dx both of these functions will come out to be equal and you will get your answer as 2 by 3 so our final answer is going to be the second option and the third option as you can see